Hello everyone, it's Claudia and today I have a haul video for you. So this is the new Mickey Home Shine collection. I ordered this from Scrobby, which is scrobby.nl and uh, you should definitely check them out if you haven't already because they are amazing. And um, as always, I will start with showing you some of the papers. So I will just set this aside for a little bit. I will say that I got a lot of papers, so this might take a while. So first off, I have this acetate sheet and it has these beautiful uh, gold glitter hearts in it, which is really lovely. And um, you know, I think it would add some nice texture to my layouts. So that's why I got that. So that is that gold glitter acetate paper. And next up is this paper, it's called um, Carefree. I'm sorry, I'm doing the voiceover after recording. And um, it's just these kind of like paint strokes with all the different colors that are in the collection. And it's a really kind of interesting um, design, but I do actually really love it because it's so fun and colorful. And I got two of it. I got two of a lot of papers. <laughs> Uh, and the other side is this lovely pattern uh, with the pink and I love pink so this paper makes me really happy and it has some white uh, splatters here and there which is just really nice. Then this next paper is called um, Treasures and it's a bunch of frames on this side and I'm planning on um, cutting some of them up and use them on my layout. And the other side is I'm slow at turning the papers. Uh, the other side is this um, kind of like a light pink uh, background with some black dots. They're not really polka dots, they're not like even dots and uh, you know just kind of like kind of randomized. They're not like in a straight pattern or anything. So that is the other side and again I got two. And this paper is called Divine and it's this gorgeous, gorgeous um, wood grain paper. And if you know me, you know I love wood grain papers. So this one's great because it's wood grain and it uh, has pink. So this is like, you know, scrappy heaven for me. And of course I got two because I also love the other side, which is this um, floral design. It's kind of like a light blue-ish uh, floral and the flowers are small. So I don't feel like this, um, pattern would be too busy to use as a full background and there's some distressing on the edges and on the sides as well which is just really lovely. Love these papers. And this paper is another one of my favorite papers. It's called Dazzle and um, you know it's quite busy to use as a full sheet but I absolutely love um, you know the colors. It's just bright and colorful and um, yeah it's, it's lovely so I got two sheets of that. And the other side is this kind of like salmon pink uh, background with some, I guess, kind of cream uh, polka dots, which which is lovely. I'm not sure if I would use this as a full sheet really, but um, you know, the other side is so lovely that I'm happy to just have two of that. Then this paper is called Chair, and it's just kind of this, um, you know, just blue pattern, and it has some distressing on the sides. And um, you know, like that tape at the top, which I think looks really good to just add some interest to the papers, which is something crepe paper uh, does a lot. And I got two of that sheet as well. Um, the other side is this paper with, um, you know, music notes. And if you can read music notes, then I'm curious if this is even a song or anything. Um, but in a scrapbooker's perspective, I do think this would make a really nice background. So. That's why I got two. Then this one is called Cheer. I'm not sure, um, but it's like these uh, different rulers and different colors that I think I would maybe cut apart. I'm not 100% sure yet what I'm going to do with it. And then the other side is this gorgeous um, heart pattern and it's a gradient so it goes from light um, to darker blue and uh, it has some distressing on the edges and this is one of my favorite papers as well it's it's really lovely that's why I got two again 
And uh, this paper is called uh, Cherish, and it's this gorgeous floral paper. And um, if you know me, you know I love florals, so of course I got two sheets of this one because I'm going to use this one to cut the florals out. And I'm horrible at fussy cutting, but uh, I'm still going to try and do a good job at cutting those florals out. And then the other side is this beautiful blue tone with some tiny polka dots. It's really pretty and I love that color. So that's that. And next up we have this paper and it's called Lucky. And it's pink so I loved it so much because I love everything that's pink. And it's kind of like this, um, not really like a map. Well maybe it is a map, I'm not sure really what the word is but yeah. And then the other side is this um, kind of like cream with some gray triangles and it's quite a busy pattern so I'm not sure how I would use it but I do like it so that's that one. Then the next one is called Sparkle and it's a bunch of plus signs of uh, different sizes just kind of scattered uh, over the page and um, there's some distressing and splatters on the edges which like I mentioned, it's just really nice to create interest. And this paper reminds me of a paper that was in a Dear Lizzy Serendipity collection. Um, I'm not sure what this is, if this is like watercolor or just like... I'm not sure how to describe it. I don't really care too much for it. I love that other side with the plus signs. This one is called Radiant and it's this beautiful yellow um, kind of chevron paper. And, um, I'm going to use this side because I want to bring in some yellow in the collection because I only got one sheet of this paper and I do like this side with all the scattered polka dots but um, you know I don't need more papers like that so I'm definitely going to use that side with the yellow. Then this paper is called Twinkle and it's this um, kind of like a craft brownish background with some cream Distress plus signs on it. It's really nice to bring in some more of that brown color to your layouts. And then this side is kind of like a kind of like a tribal pattern, I guess. Um, I'm not sure if it's navy or black. Kind of on the fence about that, but um, I kind of want to say it's black. But I guess it kind of depends on your perspective, maybe. But yeah, it's a really nice pattern. And this one is called Lovely, and I love that this is pink, and it has the pink um, diamonds on top of it, so it's kind of like tone on tone. It's really pretty, and then the other side, if I can flip it for you, <laughs> is this beautiful basic um, ledger design, which... Um, you know, could work perfectly for background because it's not super busy, it's just a nice basic pattern. So I really love that one as well. And like I said, I got a ton of papers, there's still a few left. Um, this one is called Brilliant, and this is kind of like, what do you call this? Brilliant? I don't know. Um, I wasn't going to get this paper at first because I don't really care too much uh, for either sides. But I do feel like since the colors are in the collection, it's nice to have one sheet that I can use for uh, layering or to bring in some more of that specific color. So that is that paper. Then next up we have this paper called Memento and it has these numbers and I love the design of these numbers. I think it's a really creative way um, of designing and um, I don't think I will use this paper even though I love the numbers but I love this pink um, this paper has like a zigzaggy uh, pattern and uh, I wouldn't use it as a full sheet but I'd probably use it for layering and such so um, I only got one of this so there's that then next up is this paper called charming and it has a bunch of different bows in different patterns and colors to match the collection and it's actually really cute uh, in real life. I wasn't too sure about it at first but I actually really like it. Then this is a diagonal stripe pattern kind of like a blue tealish color with some cream uh, stripes so it's really pretty. It has some distressing on the edges as well. 
which is really lovely and makes the page just a little bit more interesting or the paper and uh, this is the cut apart sheet and it's called bright and um, you know there's some really lovely cut apart sheet the zebra I don't know what I'm gonna do with that probably wouldn't use that and I did get two of it because the other side is this pretty um, black and white stripe and I love black and white stripes so um, I'm definitely happy to um, have an extra sheet of that because I know I'll probably use it. Not sure if I'd use it as a full sheet, but I will definitely use it. And I love those pink splatters as well. Then next up, we are almost at the end of the papers here, guys. Don't worry. Um, this one is called Bliss, and this is probably my favorite paper. I love those distressed circles. and They're kind of like a denim color, and I love that there's this one pink um, circle in it as well. It's really, just really pleasing to the eye in my opinion like most of the papers are they're just beautiful and then this is a kind of like a cream and then it kind of goes to white and then to yellow kind of gradient design and um, you know it's quite simple but I do think it will make for a pretty background and this one is called darling and it has these beautiful florals and um, I'm not going to cut these up because they seem a little bit tough to cut up especially with my uh, non uh, fussy cutting skills I'm not going to try and do it because I don't want to ruin it but this other side is this beautiful diagonally striped pink and that gorgeous blue tone that is in the collection so I will definitely use that then last paper is called Darius and it's this um, kind of like a wooden floor and um, you know it has the yellow stripes kind of which is really nice so I, I love that paper and the other side is kind of like a tribal pattern I would describe it as and um, it's black and white and a little bit of gray so it's really lovely and again it has some distressing so those are all the papers um, like I said, I got a bunch. <laughs> I got like, I don't know how, how many I got. But here are the embellishments. Uh, I got two ephemera packs because I love them, but I will open them up in the end so you can get a better look at what's in there. So let me start by showing you the 6x6 paper pad. And I'm just going to quickly kind of show you which patterns are in here. There is a downsized version of that cut apart sheet, which is nice. I know not all people like it, but um, I like it sometimes. So I'm just flipping through it. And um, again, the zebra, I really don't know <laughs> what I'm going to do with that. And um, yeah, you know, there's some really lovely patterns in here. And, um, you know, it repeats. So there's 18 different designs and you get two of each. So there's 36 in total really nice then um, for the first time ever I got some tassels because I really loved the way that these looked because they have those um, colored beads and they some of them also have gold glittered beads which is just lovely and I'm not sure how I'm gonna use these yet but I thought they were so pretty that I bought them anyway um, or wanted them anyway because they're just lovely then uh, this figure pack which is um, you know gold glitter all over <laughs> um, you know I love that it has different elements like those triangles the music note plus signs the heart you know like all kinds of different elements and not just words per se um, I think that's really kind of like a clever idea and on the other side it's the same thing it has some praise it's beautiful the sweet life together and then a bunch of elements as well as the butterfly and, and stuff like that so I really love that pack I can't wait to use it then I got the gold glitter basics which has like a bunch of different gold glitter shapes so it has hearts and it has two different sizes then it also has that with circles um, and stars but at the top I'm not sure if you can see it but there's some hearts at the top of that uh, page as well so I think these will be really fun to um, add some interest to your page and add some shine to your page they're really lovely I also got the puppy stickers and um, these are a little bit different puppy stickers for me because I'm used to the puppy stickers being designed and these are kind of like just plain 
um, puppy stickers like just a color there's not much of a design within the puppy sticker but I still think they would be interesting to um, to work with and I do love the colors then of course I got the sticker sheet as well I do apologize for the glare if there is any because there's so much gold uh, foiling going on it's kind of hard to um, you know make sure that doesn't happen but I love the florals I love the little bird the banner the shine bright I think that's really lovely and the other side is amazing as well because I love those tiny uh, words that are at the bottom and the flowers and just everything the sticker sheet is really beautiful not that I expected anything other uh, from Maggie Holmes and then last is of course the chipboard and I just love the chipboard I just wish the zebra wasn't there I don't get what's up with the whole zebra theme I love the design of that moments um, chipboard those letters it, it's very creative and love the outlining of that floral I love the little bits and pieces with the plus signs as little stars the birds I, I love everything about this chipboard sheet except for the zebra um, but yeah if it's just one zebra I can deal with it so now let me just get this white cardstock and open up the ephemera pack for you so you can get a better look at what's inside so I'm just gonna find my scissors and try to open it up without ruining anything and then I realized I don't need my scissors to to open it up but um yeah you should definitely check out scrubby.nl if you haven't already they're amazing and um I love them. I, they're my favorite web shop because they have so many products and great prices and customer service is great as well. If you ever have any problems, they're quick with responding and great uh, solutions. Um, but now let's move on to what I was doing and that is showing you the ephemera pieces. So, um, you know, I'm just kind of taking them one by one and laying them out on that white cardstock piece which takes a bit of time and you know you can kind of see for yourself what's going on so you know there's some text and some bits and pieces that will be interesting and there's also um, some acetate pieces in the ephemera pack which I'm not a hundred percent excuse me <laughs> I'm not a hundred percent sure of how I feel about that because I'm not the biggest acetate fan I think sometimes it's nice um, but I don't need a whole bunch of acetate pieces but in this ephemera pack there's only you know there's not too many so that remember is another uh, acetate piece and it has like white polka dots in it which you can see um, on the screen I think but yeah and I'm grabbing some acetate pieces now I think at this point I'm trying to search for all the acetate pieces so you can see what those look like and um, yeah, I really love this collection. I'm really happy with um, how it looks, which of course I knew it would look good from the images, but it's always nice to see it in real life and see how gorgeous it is. And of course I'm faced with the challenge of what am I going to use first? You know, I love it all. I have so many favorite products, favorite papers that I just, I feel so overwhelmed. I'm sure um, you ladies can relate to feeling that way when you get new stuff but um yeah you know today's a good day every day where you get scrap stuff is a good day and here I'm pulling out some more and I love the way that they did the florals in the ephemera pack kind of like um like outlined florals I guess I would call them which uh it's quite interesting and it looks really good and I love that dream uh, die cut I think it's probably one of my favorites I love the font I love the design and it's pink so you know you can't make me happier than giving me something pink in a nice font um, so yeah I'm just pulling out some more of those florals there's some butterflies some leaves just you know elements that you could use on pretty much any layout really and then there's this telephone and another leaf so that is my haul I hope you enjoyed it and um, like I said, check out Scrabby.nl if you want to order this collection. Um, they still have a decent amount in stock, so um, you should definitely go over there. I will put a link in the description or on the screen. 
but thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed seeing my lovely new um, products and i will be back with some more process videos using this collection soon have a great day